Hi, here's Vicky from Oh My Mama Body. I'm here today with my good friend Sean and her lovely little boy, Zach. We're talking about how Sean used some amazing calming birth methods and Sean's going to tell us all about it. Now, if you'd like to keep in touch with my YouTube channel and get regular videos from me, I post every Tuesday. Hit the subscribe button and you can keep up to date with me. Hey, Sean, lovely to have you here with us today. Now, you're going to tell us a bit about how you recently learned about some calming birthing methods and how it really helped you through the delivery of your lovely little boy, Zach. So, yeah, tell us all about it. <laughs> yeah, I I had a really an incredible labor. It was very it was quick. Um and I put it all down to a course I did online and it was through um a company called the Positive Birthing Company. Uh it's just a, a digital pack that you download and you go through lessons and they talk about hypnobirthing, they talk about calm breathing, and they talk about visualization as well. So um, but as well as that, just calming the body down, calming the mind down, they talk about the science behind how that, why that breath is so important in labor to actually bring oxygen to your muscles. Because during labor, um, you know, it's like, it's like running a marathon. You're going to need food and oxygen and water um, for those muscles to work properly. And she has an there was an amazing way of explaining it and it just made perfect sense to me and helped me really um, through the, through the whole labor process and just, just that breather, calm breathing. Um, but not only that, it's the visualization that was the key just to, just to get your mind out of it and let your body just take over because your body knows how to birth a baby. <laughs> it's incredible. The idea really for, for labor is to get fear out of the way and let oxytocin flow. So when you have, you can't have, if you have adrenaline in your body uh, from fear, that it blocks the oxytocin flow. And the oxytocin is the fantastic hormone that's a natural pain relief. Uh, so, you know, if, you've, if you're calm, if you're breathing calmly, you've got lots of oxygen going to the work, to help the muscles work out, you you have a natural inbuilt pain relief hormone for you, and it's a happy hormone. Helps you it feel is, really. Yeah, positive. I've heard about it being the happy hormone. I know. Yeah, so that's wonderful to feel happy throughout your whole labour as well at the same time, isn't it? Can you just tell me a bit more about um, visualization? So, when you talk about visualization, what are you visualizing? <laughs> well, in, you can visualize anything. Um, it was more talking about the breathing, in for three, in for four breaths and out for eight, just to calm your mind, calm, you know, and something to focus on. But that for me wasn't enough in labor. I had to visualize something. So I visualized a lovely mandala flower just kind of opening up, which was kind of symbolizing the cervix opening. So I, I wanted to. I, I really believe that your mind um, does have some sort of control over your body. And, you know, in, in that sort of active stage of labor, when you're, when you're, op when you're dilating, if you can visualize um, your cervix opening and dilating, it's sort of helping the body. Uh, and that's something I didn't do for my first labor at all. And I really, I don't know, it just came to me this, the second time around and it really helped. And it also helped with the pain. As soon as I visualized, it, it gave me something to focus on and, um, and the pain really did reduce considerably. And if I didn't visualize, my, I was naturally focusing on the pain and, and the pain was more intense. So It's really I would good that you've brought up that word pain because I think a lot of people don't like to talk about that word when we're talking about going through labor, but it is, you know... I've never heard of anyone that's really had a pain-free labor. I mean, it all depends a lot on where your mind is, like you said, and that feeling of fear. So yeah. how was the pain for you? So you said when you visualized this mandala, your flower opening, it made it a lot easier for you. So yeah, tell us a bit more about that. Yeah, absolutely. It definitely did. Uh, and it's not that it made the pain go away. It was, it was just, 
it just made it bearable and tolerable and it, it, the whole thing that I realized is getting the mind out of labor get the mind out get the mind focused on something else give it something to do like breathing or that visualization and let the body just do its job because the body knows I mean it's 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 got this ancient knowledge of how to birth a baby and the mind just gets in the way and the mind brings fear and complications and you know oh am I doing it right um so that's really what I what I did with the visualization but in terms of the the pain and I know in hypnobirthing they don't like mentioning the word pain um and I have I have to say I feel a little bit strongly about this because the first labor I did I, I went through I wasn't expecting the pain because I went through all the hypnobirthing courses and they didn't want to mention pain and they said it could be pain free so I was quite shocked at the pain mm -hmm. and I thought something was wrong and then mm -hmm. fear comes and I, I spent a lot of my time my labor in fear and so then your oxytocin doesn't flow and you know it's and the pain increases and there's you know so this time I was really prepared for pain and I think people I think it's important for people to realize that there is it's going to be it's an intense pressure that's how I can explain it it's a really really intense pressure but it's only for 60 seconds and you can do anything for 60 seconds and you can visualize on your mandala or whatever you want to visualize on um, for 60 seconds and then then it stops the pain stops and you can you your body can recoup and 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 I was really prepared the second time I thought I know it's going to be painful it's not wrong nothing to fear your body is doing its job get the mind out of it and just do it for 60 seconds and you'll be fine <laughs> Uh, but I think it is important for people to realize that it is it is painful and it's not something wrong in your body. It's your body doing its job. Mm -hmm. I think that's really reassuring what you've just said as well. And hearing that it really is just 60 seconds, only 60 seconds. Yeah, um, that's not a long time. And when you're not panicking about it, when you really know, OK, let the oxytocin flow and how to make it flow, you're just in a completely different kind of mindset, aren't you? So tell us how long he took to get here. How long was your labor? <laughs> Well, it was amazing. Um, it really was my ideal labor. He, I started contractions at 11.30 in the evening, um, but I wasn't quite sure if it was labor. It was just, you know, menstrual pain. Um, and I thought, well, I don't think it's going to be now today. And then by 1.30, they still were, they were getting slightly more intense. And that's when I actually turned on my contraction app which is called, um, it's a new app actually, was developed in 2019 called Freya, Freya app, also from the Positive Birthing Company. And it's basically, it's the first one in, of its kind, it's an online doula. So they give you, send you through some meditations, and then when you have a contraction, you press a button and it takes you through the breathing. So you don't have to think about anything. Everything is on this app. <laughs> And it really got me through five and a half hours of laboring on my own. And then I woke, woke up my partner at 4.30 and I said, I, you know, this, I don't think I can cope anymore. It's really getting quite intense. So we got to the hospital at six uh, in the morning and he was born at 6.30. <laughs> oh, <That's wow>. <laughs> So it was really calm, really relaxed. I was in my own environment. I was just lying in bed breathing going through the meditation uh, meditations on the app everything was peaceful there were no interruptions and it was just ideal ideal you know active labor really before before it gets um, established well that's wonderful well i'm so happy for you that it went so well and we'll put the link and the name of the app down below in the comments for everybody so that um, anybody can get hold of that as well it's all about mindset and if you've got your mind really pro programmed and ready for an experience of your lifetime it's life-changing um, but don't be afraid of the pain I think that's the that's the absolute key thing and be prepared for pain and your body your mind can be prepared for pain just through the visualization and through the breathing and let and just 
trust your body because you're really when your mind is out of it your body knows what it's doing and it's in the most incredible thing to go through so there's no don't have uh, my, my advice is don't have any fear for the pain but be prepared for it that's a really great summary yeah i love that yeah fantastic thank you and if anyone else of you would love to share your birthing story comment below tell us what really helped you and um yeah, share this with your friends as well, because it's important that all women should know about this, that birthing can be positive and it should be like Sean said, you know, it's an event of a lifetime. You want to have it as a good memory rather than a traumatic yeah. experience. So yeah, I really wish for all women that they would have this lovely experience as well. Now, Sean has been updating um, around her pregnancy, filming lots of short videos and putting them on her own YouTube channel, which is called Simply Sean. So down below in the comments as well, you'll find a link to Sean's YouTube channel. Go and have a look at it and see what she's been talking about, how she was preparing for the whole birth process, what great vitamins and also essential oils that she was using, weren't you, to really help you yeah. through like the aches and pains that you had as you got towards the end. Lots of alternative methods that really, really helped. So thanks for listening today to Sean's story especially and keep up to date with my channel. I post a video every Tuesday, so hit the subscribe button and keep regularly updated from me. Thanks very much. Thanks, Sean. See you again soon. Bye. Bye.